on the PDF screen, this, these three digits here, these are the cycle counters, right? So it's starting out at zero here. Now, if I hit the start button, I have a repetitive operation. So it's going to go around, and my last activity is my update order sheet. So that's actually one cycle, just being finishing the first cycle. I'm now going into the second cycle, right? But there's nothing happening up here in my cycle counter. So what I want to do is I want to add a cycle counter here so that we can see it being incremented as each of the cycles occurs. The way to do that is back on when you're setting up a template. You can come in here and you can actually put and use it, the brace, braces here and put a small C and close the braces. It's almost like a little copyright sign inside the, the braces area here. That's going to be our... Uh, cycle element. Now obviously it would be better if uh, every time the, this element occurs we're going to increment the cycle counter by one automatically. Now obviously it would be better to do that in the Excel sheet and pass it down into the PDA, right? But here what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the elements and we'll actually edit it directly. So we'll just go to the elements here and I'll select my get work order here and I want to edit it. So I click on the edit and we're going to go to the end of this here and we're just going to use my symbols here to find it here. So I click on the symbols and they actually are up here. You can see them they're above the regular parentheses. So we use the up arrow here. We're going to open the braces here. We're going to go back and we're going to put in a lowercase c here. And then we're going to close the braces. So we go back to the symbols again up here and close it. Right. So now we've just added our cycle counter uh, directly into the handheld device here. So we click on the OK and we're back over here. And don't forget to use the back area up at the top left here, to, top right, sorry, to go back here. And now if I start again, all right, so I'm going to click the start. And there you can see the cycle counter there, so it's incrementing. Notice it's zero, zero, zero up here. So now when I hit the time and I've recorded that, you can see it switched to one here. See it changed to one right up here, all right? So if I go around again, I'm going to do the uh, get part medium. I'm going to do the pack. I'm going to do up the order sheet. And that's the end of the first cycle. And here's the cycle current element again, here again. See the C? So as soon as I record that with the time, watch this changing to a 2. And you see it changed to a 2 there. So this can be very useful when you want to know how many cycles you've recorded here. Every time it touches up, you record an observation with the cycle current element in it, it's going to increment this by 1 here. Now, if you switch subjects, so let's say I start operator number 2 here, you're going to get a brand new counter right here. And you can start on that. So he's going to be, he's on cycle 1 right now. Example here, a little bit further on here now. Uh, operator number 2 is in cycle number 5. We can switch back to, to operator number 1. Here it's cycle number 9. So you can see them moving at different paces here. So you get separate cycle counters for each operator. Just turn to number 10 there. Go back to operator number 2. It's back at 5. So you can use this uh, very good to see how many uh, uh, cycles you have of each of the operators that you might be working with here. And of course, when you finish, you stop them all before you uh, exit out of the program by hitting the done at the bottom left-hand corner.